everybody. It's Betty from Betty's Creative Studio. I got to get a better laptop than this. This laptop's been freezing on me. Anyway, this is an interactive video. I want your answers, please. Uh, we just had a manufacturer's show, and I have a ton of samples. And this will only be the first video out of many to show you what we've done. Uh, I want an opinion uh, on the things that you like, the ones that you would like me to see me bring into the store because some of these are available now some of them won't be available for another month or so uh august beginning of september so opinion okay i'm going to start off with this this is a dare to be artsy and it's a mini slimline i love the background uh this piece is actually cut out of their paper you can get it as a stamp with a matching die, or you can buy their paper and just use the die to cut out their images, which is kind of pretty neat. And the other thing that they have that I hadn't seen before, and maybe there's others out there, this is a mini slimline envelope, and it's designed to fit many different sizes of slimline cards. And it's also a die, so you can make it, this is the sample paper they gave us, but you can make it in any colors that you want, and it's ready to seal and uh, mail out. Uh, this is another one from Dare to Be Artsy. This is their penguin line, uh, made with a little uh, pop open thing there, very easy to make. They also have Yetis this year. Uh, not thrilled with these samples, but just so you can see their stamps. Uh, I know most of my customers are not into cutesy, but here we go with reindeer, nutcrackers, that it was one card. Uh, cute little doggies. Uh, some mores. Santa and Mrs. on a uh, tandem bike. And this little present here can be replaced with other pieces. It's separate. Uh, and then this little bunny, Happy Hopper Days. No, Happy Holidays, sorry. Some of my favorites coming up. This is Pink Fresh. Now, granted, okay, excuse, excuse the sloppiness there. I was in a hurry. But this is a uh, one of their stencils that <clears throat> we stenciled first and then cut out, which was really kind of different and neat. Um, there is another version of it. And I do have a lot of Pink Fresh uh, stamps with matching stencils for coloring in stock. Uh, they're really fabulous, and I was going to do a, um, a make and take today on it, but it's pouring outside, so I figured I'd do a video. I don't think anybody show up. Uh, this is a stamp uh, from Altenew, and I'm going to show you. Uh, we used uh, just a resist pattern with clear embossing powder to do that one, but here it is, and it has different images that you can put inside the sunglasses, which is really cute, and yeah, I ordered it, so... If you're interested, let me know. Next company, Indigo Blue. Now, for all my mixed media people, uh, I used to carry bits and pieces of Indigo Blue when Notions, my distributor, had them in stock, but they're no longer carrying them. However, my group brought them back in, and I have tons of sample stamps here, but these are the two products that we made in the um, classes. And this, and I don't know how it'll show up on the video, is called Luscious, and it's um, a pigment powder, but it has the resin in it, so when you mix it with water, boom, never comes off and stays nice and shiny, if you can see that. Uh, this was done with their uh, acrylic paints, which can be watered down to watercolor look, which they're both of the, the, the uh, Luscious uh, pigments and the acrylic paints are so full of pigment they're phenomenal. I did just get the Luscious in. Now, another company that you may never have heard of before, but he's a really nice guy. The guy that owns it is called Brutus Monroe. That's not his name. It's just the name of the company. And he has watercolor panels that are already printed for you. Um, and all you have to do basically is color them. And there were like eight in the pack. I did three with his ink, but of course you can do it with any kind of ink. And I was just wondering if anybody was interested in these type of panels where you just have to color them, mat them, and your card's done for the season. Uh, this one is Creative Expressions, 
absolutely, absolutely love this one. Uh, Creative Expressions is an English company. Uh, I don't know if um, you guys who use the Cosmic Shimmer Glue uh, that we love so much here, happen to have it right at my uh, fingertips. Um, we, um, it's the same company that makes that glue and they have the Sue Wilson dies and whatnot. And this was a really cute one. Um, and, uh, let's see what else we have. This is LDRS and this was very interesting. If I can see if I still have it floating around here somewhere, this was done with a stencil to make the wreath around and it really works really well. I've never had one that was this easy to use to make that wreath thing, but I don't carry a lot of LDRS because they just don't seem to sell in here. Uh, this is from Spellbinders, okay, a little circle card, or it can be used as a, a wreath, <laughs> or, or, you know, something to hang, not a wreath, um, a bauble to hang on your Christmas tree too. Um, this is another Spellbinders. Denny did this one. And, of course, I think you've all seen these already. These were from my uh, previous manufacturer's uh, class, and I did a class on these that I will repeat again. Um, the Very difficult, the cough. Uh, and the kinetic ones, where their legs move back and forth. Never mind. This one's been moved a lot. Their, their legs move back and forth. We have that one. And the gnome, which I think is just freaking adorable. Okay, here, there go his legs. He's kinetic. Uh, this is another Spellbinders. I know we're getting it's getting into a long video, but I want feedback, people. I want to know what you think, okay? Um, also, very, very popular, and I have this die coming back in stock, the bottle brush trees, okay? Uh, that was from Spellbinders. Uh, Impression Obsession, one of my favorite small women owned companies. I love Mitra who owns the company. She's great. I wish I had half her energy. Um, this was the make and take that we did a couple of weeks ago. It's still available if you ask me for it. And I did get in those stamps and this is their version of Halloween. Let me grab the Halloween ones first. Did a lot of cards with impression obsession at this. I think these uh, ghosts are really, really cute. Um, I'm not crazy about this one, but there may be, come on, don't be stuck there. There may be other people that like monsters, okay? There you go. This is a, and it's a nice trifold card there. Um, oh, one more Halloween. I love the bats too. And she's uh, selling big packages of those Google eyes, if, uh, which I have coming in if you're interested. I have some in stock right now. And going into Christmas, okay, that's an interesting one. This one is um, in the online card class that I have uh, right now. I think it's uh, next week on the 20, 27th or the 29th, I forget. But uh, one day next week, this is going to be part of an online class. And this is a belly band card where you take the belly band off to open a... Uh, come on. Uh, you know, it's a, you put your greeting inside, but... To hold the card together, you slide the belly band over it, which I think is, I, I like them. I think they're kind of, they're just different, okay? So uh, at the moment, that's all the cards that I have made. Uh, I have some other projects and stuff that I'm still working on, so there will be another video, but please give me some feedback. I need to know what you like, what you don't like, uh, what should I bring into my store? Oh, God, look at that picture behind me. It's all a mess. Uh, what I should bring in or what I shouldn't bring in, uh, I really do need the feedback so I can keep my customers happy. Oh, and this is for Sherry. Yes, I ordered. These are really neat blender brushes from uh, Altenew. They have angled tips. And you can get into the really little fine spots like you can with your other blender brushes. And yes, Sherry, I did order those. Okay, so those are actually on their way. Uh, that would be it for right now. Uh, just remember to uh, take a look at our website, Betty's Creative Shop.com. And uh, if you have any questions, give us a buzz. Area code 352-513-4366. 
hope to see you soon. Ta-ta.